Ottawa is home to some of the country's most unique and storied residences. Every Monday for the next five weeks, we'll bring you an insider's look at some of those prominent homes. Kicking things off is the leader of the opposition, Rana Ambrose, who gave me a tour of her new home at Stornoway. So this is Stornoway, a lot of history here. It's an amazing place. Now this has been the uh, official residence of the Leader of the Opposition for many years. So people like John Diefenbaker, Lester Pearson, Brian Mulroney, Pierre Trudeau. There's so much history in this place, it's fascinating. And one of the really amazing things is that during the war, when the Nazis invaded Holland, the, uh, the Dutch royal family was exiled here at Stornoway. And this is where they lived. They lived here. And while they were here, they had a little daughter named Marguerite. Now, she was born in the Ottawa Civic Hospital. And this is the coolest thing. The governor general had to declare that the hospital room was extraterritorial so she wouldn't lose her Dutch citizenship and her place in the royal family. So because of that, every year, the Dutch government sends 100,000 tulips to Ottawa to say thanks. And that's the Tulip Festival. So it's there's so much history here. It's amazing. Let's go inside. I'd love to. <laughs> Well, welcome, Marcy, to our beautiful new home. Thank you. It's gorgeous. It, it, is. it really is, and it feels so warm. It does. It's beautifully decorated, and it's 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 so warm. It's a gorgeous home. So lucky to get to be here. Well, you're come gonna, on upstairs. You're gonna take, I didn't want to invite myself, no, but yes, please. I'd like to go. Come okay, on up. <laughs> let's go. Look at the artwork. I know, isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, and it's all Canadian, of course. The art is stunning. It is, and you know, it's these homes, these official residences are, are really also about showing off uh, Canadian art and Canadiana. So these come from a collection called the Canadiana Fund, and whether it's art or the furniture in, in the official residence homes, um, they're placed here so that Canadians can see them. And this house is very much ho the home of Canadians also, so people can come and visit it and see the art and see some of the historical pieces of furniture. It's really a special place. And what a gorgeous country we have. Yeah, it's because amazing. look at the artwork reflecting all of that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And now this is one of the bedrooms. Uh, there's eight bedrooms in this house. I keep telling my girlfriends, come and visit. Come and visit <laughs> and stay. Come for a sleepover. We need to have a pajama party. <laughs> but in all the rooms, there's some of these beautiful pieces of Canadian memorabilia. Now this piece is originally one of the early pieces from Rideau Hall. And it's circa 1860. And look at the detail. I know, it's so beautiful. And it's just in this bedroom. It's so beautiful for people to come and see some a piece of Canadian history. I love that that every piece of furniture, all of the artwork, they all have stories. They there's do. A, there's a story behind all of them. I know, I love it. Okay, let's head upstairs and see. This is the family room I want to show you. Oh, it's kind I can't of wait to see this. Space, where you, you know? hang out. Yeah, where, where you, you just, just and... do your thing. Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite show? Um, well, I love murder mysteries. So do I. I know, I just love murder mysteries. So, I mean, all the Netflix stuff, like True Detective. I love that stuff too. All the shows. true crime. Yeah, all true, yeah, yeah, I love that I stuff love too. It. So this is the sort of family room area. It's on the third floor. So it's kind of away from everything. Yeah. And I love it because it's just really cozy and comfy. And the library yeah. is fantastic as well. So many books. Lots of books. Everyone who's been here is supposed to leave their books behind. So there's books from, you know, all kinds of former and you know, former prime ministers, former leaders of the opposition, so it's a really neat place to look. Okay, so I have to ask you a question. Does anything ever go creak in the night? Oh yes, well, the first night that I slept in this house, I didn't get a wink of sleep because- What happened? Well, it all happens on this floor, so my oh. bedroom's underneath here, and there's so much noise that comes from this top floor, and so of course I asked the housekeeper, is this place haunted, and she said, she just about said yes, and I said, I looked at her sort of, you know, fearful. And she goes, no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> so who knows, who oh, knows. Oh, the things she's probably oh, seen and you heard. Know, lots of noise coming from here, but I'm sleeping better now. This is good. You, you, you are now having restful sleeves. You've, yeah. you've come to terms with all that is. Yeah, if it's John Diefenbaker's ghost, I say just show yourself and give me some good advice. <laughs> Well, come on in, Marcy. This is my gym. So when you move into one of these official residences, you're allowed to bring your own things, but I actually didn't bring anything but my gym equipment. That says a whole bunch yeah, about you. This, this is what I brought, my weights and my treadmill and my yoga mat. Listen, you've got long days. You've got to stay fit mentally, physically, right? Yeah, I yeah. do. And so I spend my time on my treadmill. I watch Canada AM. Big brownie points. You're on my Huge brownie points for that, Ms. Ambrose. At 6.30 and then I do my weights. Okay, so yeah. what are you working with here? What kind you know of what? weights? I just, I do a lot of weights, um, 10, 20, depending on how tired I am in the morning. But, but you still uh, get it done. I, I get it done. You so, still get it done. Yeah, every morning. And you've I, got I, good form. Look well, at those. 
nice Thank curls. You. You've got good form Look at too. that. Look at that. Very Feeling better good. already. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. Thanks. Feeling strong. Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, you're us. welcome. Thanks and for a workout having. as well. Yeah. This is my kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much to Ms. Ambrose and her family. They were so gracious. Our Residence Tour series returns next Monday with a behind-the-scenes look at the Governor General's home, Rideau Hall.